Hello, welcome back to another RI Fishing UK video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to re spool your line on your kite rod. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need the bottom half of your kite rod, your reel, your line, what you're going to put on, which is a um, 12 pound sub line from the order. And also, you're going to need a bucket, what you're going to have to put water in. So, the first things first is to take all your line off. It'll take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back to it when it's all off. Right, so here you can see all the line is off the, um, the spool. All my old line. So what you want to do, you want to set your rod up so you can put your new line on. So just get it out of the tin. And there's um, a thousand meters on it. So just check how much you can put on. Um, can fit about 300 yards on or more, but we're going to fill it up right to the lips when I'm doing big casts. It doesn't. Um, it helps me cast it further. Just going to pull for a little bit. Put it on there. The other one next one. Put the line around. Do a couple of over and unders. One, two, three. Do three of them. Plumb right down. Yeah, do it again. Do a single one. Right. So I'm going to pause the video and put the, the water in the bucket right so when you put um, the water in the bucket what you want to do is after, um, you want to put your spool in the water and you want to keep half your bottom rod so you can put your hand in the line keep it tight while you're reeling and the water might squirt away a little bit squirt out the bucket so you only want to put half in but It will sink in the water, so it it will be tight, tighter. But you can always keep all of it, and make sure you don't get a friction burn. So I'm gonna start reeling it in. I'll show you a few clips. Right, so I'm reeling it in, and you can see the water moving, which it should do. And the reel, give them more and more line on. So I'll come back to you in a minute when all the lines on, right to the lip. Right, so um, I've put um, the 12 pound line on both of the reels now, and um, tell you the truth, they look pretty decent. They look, they've got um, I all it was a thousand meters on the um, sublime spool what came up, so I used a um. um a, a thousand, it was a thousand meters on, and I used five hundred meters, just a bit more. I say about five ten, so there is a lot left on the reel, and the spools look pretty good. So I'll show you them now. Alright, so that's one of them. It's about three hundred. Well, no, it's about two fifty on each. I'd say on both of them, and also what I'd like to show you is um the saber. Tip and butt protectors that come in a box like this. I've just bought three of them for a fiver. One, well, fiver each, like 15 quid. And I bought the subline as well from the, um, the Northwest Angler Show. Um, I've got two on these and on the the bottom as well. So the button tip is protected. And they got one on my spod rod, which I'll show you. There we go. It's only a small spod rod, but I'm getting a new one soon. Could cast um, 80 yards of it, and I don't need to cast any further than that, I don't think so, to place out a fish. So, they're really good for the three rods. To put it back. So, um, I, I do recommend getting the, um, the Sabre 
the Sabre tip and butt protectors. I um, bought them at the North Sanger Show. And they seem pretty decent. And also bought a line from the North Sanger Show. And um, Subline, I really recommend using Subline. I reckon it's the strongest line for a thousand meters. It's like fifteen pound, I think. Well, it's thirty-six pound for two, so I have thirty-six. It's like fifteen, sixteen, some eighteen quid or something like that, um, which is worth it. So you get a thousand meters, and it's um, it's twelve pound, but it's um, zero point three five millimeters, which is pretty strong. And um, so I've got about two, about two fifty, two six to two seventy um, meter line on. Something like that, like 250 meters of line, so I'll be able to cast 100 jars and then go into um, Scotsman's Flash in my um, later videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch them there. But for now, I'm only casting about um, 60 yards, probably not even that. Yeah, I reckon about 60 yards plus, and then when I go night fish, I'll be casting a bit further. But soon, when I get my um, new spod rod, um, the, um, I'll get some braid for it, and, that, uh, and I'll be able to cast them both. So yeah, that's how you um, respill it um, in your reel. So tight lines and wet nets and um, look out for the f future videos. Please subscribe.